Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And today we're doing a follow-up video to the Sega 32X core that's released because there have been some improvements. And I know in the first video I said I never wanted a 32X and didn't plan on getting one, so what is sitting on my screen right now? Well, a viewer named Eric had a spare and he wanted to send it into the channel, so now we can do a little bit of original hardware on 32X if we feel so inclined in the future, and I probably will tear this thing apart completely and show it off for fun. But the great part is, not only is 32X here, but there's been a lot of improvements to the core by other people in the community because some of the games had sound speed issues, and that is that something like Star Wars Arcade here was running way too fast as far as the sound was concerned. Now, I would let you listen to this and confirm the sound is good, but honestly, every single time I do anything Star Wars, if any of the soundtrack plays in the background, it gets a copyright strike immediately, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. But it's great to have these improvements, and it's nice to have a little bit more time to talk about the 32X on Mr. because the first video was so quickly made as a reaction to it randomly coming out and nobody knowing. It's fun to take a second look at it because the 32X library, while not huge and not the most amazing thing in the world, does have some good games, and 32X hardware is not cheap. Sega didn't sell that many of them, and I had some people tell me that some places like in Australia, a 32X is going for like 800 Australian dollars. So honestly, Honestly, this being on Mister is absolutely incredible because it means if you own a Mister, you don't have to spend any more money to experience a console that is a fun curiosity and does have some decent stuff, but may not be worth the cost of entry. And I love exploring the library. I'm finding some interesting games, and people wanted to see more 32X. They were asking for specific games, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video here. But it's great that this is on Mr. again, and I am impressed how well this is running. I did play some 32X side by side with this. Now, I'm not comparing the cores. It is not done, and that is not fair, especially considering the circumstances of the maker. But honestly, if there's any real difference in this game or Star Wars Arcade, I can't tell. And you probably couldn't either. Now, I don't have the most experience with 32X games, but playing original hardware versus the Mister, I couldn't tell a damn bit of difference. And it's not even done yet, which means this is going to be an awesome core when it is finally finalized. But it's so much fun just to check out the library. There are some good games. It's got a great version of NBA Jam. And let me tell you, if you're not playing as John Stockton, you are not playing NBA Jam right. I would go to my grave saying that Stockton, greatest basketball player of all time, when you jump shoot and you yell Kobe, that's stupid, you should be yelling Stockton. But all jokes aside, this is a great version of NBA Jam. It's probably the best on consoles that I have played as far as this generation is concerned. And having another 32X this is a ton of fun. And of course, it's an amazing two-player game where we do get the availability to play the game with two players on Mr. And you see Stockton drain that three there. And that's what he does all day long. And that's why, again, if you're not playing Stockton, you're not doing it right. But it's just great. I can't believe this is here. It bodes well for Saturn coming eventually because they do share a lot of the architecture. But someone else mentioned that I should definitely check out Doom Resurrection. It is a fan mod to the 32X version of Doom that basically improves absolutely everything. And they were right. I knew this existed. I didn't know how good it was. But now that I've had a chance to check it out, it is spectacular, and it allows us to hear the original Doom soundtrack versus what they did on the 32X, showing just how good the audio quality on this core is. So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds, and I'll come back and talk more about how the 32X core is improving, and that's great for everyone. But enjoy! I mean, you can't go wrong with the Doom soundtrack, and it sounds absolutely outstanding on the 32X core. And people were right. Doom Resurrected is so much better than Doom 32X. 
all of the improvements, this just feels like a really nice way to play Doom. Now granted, there's so many different ways to play the game, you don't need a mister with the 32x core to check it out, but honestly, one more way to play Doom is not a problem in my book. And I will say that I did try Doom Resurrected on the 32X that was mailed in, and I think the audio quality on Mr. is much better. My 32X sounds a little bit muffled coming out of my speakers, and of course I will compare these at some point in time, but not right now. But the most fun I've been having is checking out games that I've always wanted to play on the 32X original hardware, things like Metalhead here, photographs, were huge in magazines back when this was coming out. It was fully textured 3D polygons, and not many systems were doing that well at that point in time. You have the 3DO, and to a much lesser extent, the Atari Jaguar, but being able to play this game on an FPGA implementation has been a ton of fun, and I did talk to some people that are fans of the 32X, and they said software emulation isn't great. It's not really a perfect alternative to using original hardware, but now with the Mr. 32X core, you're as close to original hardware as you're going to get. And because even in the US, a 32X and a copy of Metalhead is not cheap, you're saving hundreds upon hundreds of dollars, and it allows you to check out games that you've probably never played before, and that's one of my favorite use case scenarios for Mr. It allows people to experience libraries that they don't own hardware for, and they may end up becoming big fans of that hardware library, because I will say, I definitely want to finish Metalhead. It's not the greatest game in the world, but it's definitely fun, and I want to see the end of it. But people kept asking for Kohlrebi. I do not understand this game whatsoever. It seems to be more esoteric and hard to deal with than Echo the Dolphin, a game that was notoriously difficult and confusing. So leave me a comment down below, the people that were talking about how excited they were to play this game on the Mr. Core. What in the hell am I supposed to be doing here? There's a couple of hummingbirds that are trying to keep me away from nectar, but that is all I literally can figure out about this. I don't want to look up a walkthrough, that seemed kind of cheating, so give me some hints down below. If I'm going to try to play this game, because people keep recommending I play it and finish it, tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do, because all I really managed to do is get eaten by this frog here and make the screen go dark. So maybe Maybe I'm just missing something completely, but help me out because I know people have been asking for more content on this one individual game, apparently as a fan following, so tell me about it. Now I will say, you're just going to find some games on the 32X that just really aren't that good. Tough Man Contest is fine, it's not great, I mean it has Butterbean in it and he was huge in the 90s. They definitely use all that 32X power to put that digitized blonde with bikini in there, but the great thing about Mr. and the 32X Core as well is that if you really wanted to check this game out and you're thinking, hey, maybe I should buy a cartridge, you can preview it. And if you're like me, you'd probably find that you have absolutely no interest in ever playing Tough Man Contest again outside of capturing the content for this video. But as small as the library is for the 32X, there's definitely some games on it that are 100% worth playing and checking out. And it's so much easier on the 32X Core versus the original hardware at this point. And I mean, Star Wars Arcade, the 32X, enhanced version is a great version of the game and it is running perfectly on this core here and that is the most fun part about this other than the fact that nobody saw the 32x core coming but you guys asked for more content on the 32x you want to see different games running and i try to do what it is that you like so do me a huge favor hit like subscribe for that effort and if you feel so inclined we got a patreon link down below in the description as well but yeah and you can shoot some tie fighters and i know again i said i had no interest in the 32x i wasn't going to pick one up but thanks to eric for sending one over to me i now have one that i can compare against mr at some point in time and before you leave that comment down below, I did not ask for this. Somebody contacted me. I don't ask people to send me things because I know that's going to be a comment you guys leave. True to that, I'll be back with more Mr. videos next Thursday. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But yeah, 32X is already improving on the Mr. And there's no complaints about that whatsoever. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.